Yeah! Hello, Ergos! And the Frenchos! It's Donald! Welcome back to my kitchen! And on today's menu, we'll be taking a look at new cards coming to the Pokemon game! Yeah, Japan! They'll be getting the Alolan Golem GX on September. For us, they'll probably be later this year. So, let's take a look at how good these cards are. I have a lot to show you, too. So, jump into a Alolan Golem, which in the Lola, they look half Mario, half Browser. You see that mustache? You can see the Mario in there, isn't he? Zan, they're lightning types. All right, you are stage 2GX. You take the maximum evolution, you have the highest base hit point in the game. 250, it does not get better than that. No Pokemon has more than 250 right now. So, number one hit point, good. Deserving of a Lola and Golem. Yeah, you're cool, you're supposed to be tanky. First attack, Hammer in! One lightning energy, one double colorless energy! Alright, two energy cards at the minimum. And what's it do? 80 damage, nothing else. It's just a first attack. Give it a choice band right here. It does 30 more damage to EX and GX Pokemon. So that is 110. Take a look, 80 plus uh, 30 is 110. Now you can two shot basic GX Pokemons, most stage one GXs with your first attack. Not so bad, you have to evolve more than them, unfortunately, but hey, two shot, we can work with that. So, next attack, your, uh, your possibly main attack. So this costs one energy more. One double colors energy, two light energy, it's not too bad to do, 200 damage, oh yeah. Now you can just one shot that Lapras, give it a choice man, 230. That guarantees a one shot on almost everything but stage two. If you're not stage two, you will get one shot. But it does 50 damage to itself. Ouch. That sort of sucks, but if you can two shot two GX Pokemon, get four prize card with a single golem, you're good to go. You're good to go. At that point, that that hundred that fifty damage, it would have paid for itself. So the first time you do it, you should have two hundred hit points left. The second time, 150, and by that time, a Lolan Golden should like already expire. But four prize cards, that is the best situation you can get with that. So, all right, not so bad. Uh, the energy cost is a bit high though, but we do have the Electro, which is out uh, out right now currently. But zap, you get to KO, give your opponent a prize card, unfortunately. But it will give two Lightning energies, and it doesn't count towards your energy limit. So this with a double ghost energy instantly charge up the golem allowing it to use all of its attacks. So that's probably the easiest way to charge it up, but it sort of hurts you. Yeah. But man, you're gonna start KOing. Something is gonna get KO'd unless it's also a stage two. So, final attack, the GX attack. You know, GX supposed to be really good. It's expensive, it does only a hundred. But your opponent can't play anything from their hand. No energies, no Pokemons, no supporters. Nothing. Nothing. They are going to be very slow that particular turn. They might just pass their turn. So, with that in mind, the 100 always factor in the choice man. 30 more damage. So that's 130 followed by maybe a hammer in. 110. That's 240. And now you can two-shot Gyarados. If only it wasn't weak to lightning. 240 hit points worth of damage. GX and hammer in, then you can just super magnetic tackle if you're still alive by then. So, overall, is he, uh, is he doable? You know, I don't like expensive cards, personally. As in, they have lots of teching, they have lots of energy costs, but he might just have it. He might just have it. He will not, however, he will not defeat the current two stage two kings, Metagross and Gardevoir. Gardevoir will one-shot easily because he uses four energies and Metagross has max potions, which this card can't use as well. So, moving on! Oh, you have a chance? You have... Okay, so I love the next though, but we're gonna move on now! Gyarados GX! Oh, man. Gyarados is a very, quite infamous dragon-like Pokémon. So, let's see how you fare. Stage 1 has 240. This is record-breaking. No other stage 1 GX has 240 hit points. This is equivalent to, almost equivalent, to actually this is equivalent to some stage 2 GX's. So, he's like, dang, I have to evolve twice, you evolve once, and you're that tanky? Yeah, so, he's, a hip, he's above average. In fact, he's best in this category. Let's take a look at damage. Waterfall, 70 damage. Compared to Hammer In, you know, very similar cost. Double Colors Energy, Water Energy, 70, 80. I guess you have to evolve once, so that's 10 less damage. That's only 100 with Choice Man. So even with Choice Man, you will not be able to two-shot, you know, himself. 
basic Pokemon here. Stage ones, you're getting a little trouble there. So, all right, doable. But how about your flash attack? Five energies. That is what what the most expensive attacks in the game were five energies. What am I getting out of this? 100 base damage. This is 100 more damage if there's a stadium, and then you're forced to discard. Does this remind you of Primal Groudon? Yeah, Gear Volcano. Same exact attack. So yeah, it's Primal Groudon suddenly says, "Oh hey." Your, uh, your water, my nemesis type, I'll just teach you how to use Gear Volcano, so Gear, Gear Hurricane is probably what it is, but it's called Dragon Calamity, he renamed it, Dragon Calamity. Alright, it's more expensive. Luckily, you know, most of the costs can be not water energy, you just have to have one water energy, and if you give it a choice, man. This card matters in every single thing, just remember, choice man gives you 30 bonus damage, 230 is quite significant. It won't allow you to one-shot itself, because it's special, but normal and stage 1 GXs will go down one-shot similarly to a Lolan Golem. They both do the same damage, perhaps, but this costs one energy more. So, uh, what's the best way to pay for it? There are a lot of ways you can pay for it. But the, the simple uh, simple example, we can use Kiawe. Pick four or five energies, put it into the Gyarados. Can it use fire energies? Yeah! Look at that. Four or five energies into water energies. That's one way you could do it. Possibly the better way to do it, however, is you use the Wishful Baton. Wishful Baton, when a Pokemon wearing this gets knocked out, you keep three water energies, pass it on to the Gyarados. So let's say Lapras was wearing this. Yeah, it's a basic three water energies. Get it going. It goes down. Give it those to your Gyarados. Where's Gyarados? Right there. And all you need is one double colors energy. It's ready to go. So that's how you get it to work. So now you just have to feed it a supply of stadiums. What stadium are we gonna use? Brooklyn Hill. Yeah, you can use any stadium, but Brooklyn Hill, it helps water Pokemon. It's what you use in standard right now. You get basic water Pokemon sound, synergizes with it. So that's how you feed it. You feed it st stadiums, feed it lots of energies, and it'll chain one shot KOs. Does it beat the two uh, stage one GX Kings and Queen, Gardevoir and Metagross? No. Metagross will outlive it. It can't one-shot Metagross, and Gardevoir will one-shot this, so... However, against other cards, you might have a chance! You're very, very hard to tech up. I don't see myself using more than one, at most two, ten energies to load this things up, so... That's that. How about GX attack? Dreadstorm. You just got one energy from each of your opponent's Pokémon. Usually, they have one or two, but if you're getting two, great value. One, that's okay for one energy. You proxy your GX and you can use Hala after that. So, it's okay. It buys you time to charge up your other attacks. You might not be so bad. However, you know, it's okay. How do I think about cards? I don't like expensive energy cards. But, you know, when I have to make a decade video out of this, it's got all the numbers in there. So, there is a payoff in the end. Alright, Gyarados! You know, that's, uh, those are the two three GXs. We have more cards to talk about! So, what do we talk about next? We see we have the counter energy. Alright, you got may already know about this. This is the new special energy. It does not work on GX or EX. Non-EX GX only. And you have to be losing so many conditions. Meaning, if you have more prize cards, you're losing. You're put into more prize cards. This provides two energies of every single type. So for non-GX decks that have expensive energy costs, this will help. This will help. Not gonna set any examples, but we'll, we'll take a look at examples uh, yeah, soon, so keep that in mind. All right. I just contradicted myself. All right, moving on, we have the new, hey, this looks like a Pokemon catcher. It's called the Counter Catcher. He's probably not part of the art though, but Counter Catcher, when you are losing, you get a free Lysander. Choose one of your punch Pokemon, opponent's punch Pokemon, drag it out. This is an item now. Lysander is a supporter, so you can combo this with you know, another supporter. Ah! The, here's the deal. Do you have deck space for this? It's not always going to be helpful. Because you have to be losing. That's the trick. So I don't know if I can make deck space for this for sure. But we're going to move on. By the way, we have to go with the counter energy. I almost forgot. If it's not attached to, uh, if there's no, if you're winning, it provides one, you know, colorless energy. So it's not too bad. I mean, it doesn't give you any element, but at least it gives you something. So it's not, 
Yeah, even you, I think you can put it into a GX card as well. It just does have the special effect. However, it's one energy card, so it's a little more versatile than you might think. So, moving on. We're going to move on to the next card. Peeping Red card. That sounds perverted, doesn't it? Yeah, so what does it do? Well, you get to look at your opponent's hand. Nothing perverted about that. Your opponent has... If, you may have them shuffle their hand, but they get the same amount of cards. So... Luckily, you know, they might lose a card that, that might be valuable there. Or they may draw it again, who knows? But that's what it's for. Do you have room in your deck for this? Most of the times I say no. For something that's not guaranteed, you know? Nah, nah. But it might help. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like an end of sorts. That's not an item. Okay, that's not supporting. There we go. Now, moving on. They reveal to us the Ghastly and Haunter, which means there's a Gengar. Luckily, we already knew what the Gengar about a month ago. Did we talk about Gengar yet? I think we did, but we're gonna talk about it again because, you know, they brought it up. So, Gengar, 130 hit points, stage 2. You know, Garbodor has 120, so it's on the low side, but it's good enough. Gonna get one shot by Tapu Koko, unfortunately, but what does it do? A Ronin Curse? Well, your opponent attaches energy from one of their Pokemons. That Pokemon takes two damage. Alright, that could add up multiple Gengars Four damage for energy stack could sting. And if you had all Gengars, man, three energy cards would probably if you had all four Gengars, that's eighty dam eight damage counters. Eighty damage. Yeah, you probably be lethal if you attach three energy cards. So uh, you can dream, you can dream, and you know what this attack with a choice man is a hundred. It also applies confusion. So it kinda has a two shot itself with uh, pitch dark. Close. With the Ronin Curse, definitely a two shot. So it can fight on its own. So not it's okay. It's okay. It's a def it's not a stage, it's not a GX, so that's why it has a little benefits there. You're gonna have to use uh, the you know, SP on it. It'll probably be a good deck together. So I did want to mention that the Haunter has a cool effect too. This is not a new Haunter, but when you evolve your Pokemon, your your Gastlies, you can confuse both Pokemon, so free confusion kind of helps with this deck. Alright, that's all about Gengar. You are a very cool card, but We'll be interested in next up is the Agron. New Agron, 170 hit points equal to yeah, Miss Lele, Coconut Master, all the tappers. Ooh, okay, you're stage. You're not a GX though. You are a stage two top evolution. What do you do now? Revenge Cannon, 10 base damage, 10 more damage counters for all of your bench Pokemon. How do you get your bench Pokemon hurt? Well, just retreating them through battle. Say, if you're fighting with this, it survives, you can retreat it. The next uh, Agron could, uh, you know, maybe took half its life. Say, that would have half of 170. Let's say, what, half of 160? 80 damage! Yeah, it doesn't sound like much, does it? Here's what I think. You're gonna use Potown. Potown's a stadium where you evolve your Pokémon, it gets hurt. It's kinda slow, so I'm gonna get the wild one. Okay, good thing about that. So when you evolve your Pokemon, each time they take 30 damage. You evolve Agra and you hurt it. Ouch! That's why it has much, much hit points. But, say you have a whole bench full of hurt, wounded Agrons. Does that damage add up? Yeah! Five bench, five bench space, then you, that'd be 150 damage. Actually, 160 with the choice, man. That'd be lethal if we took one application of Potown. Remember, you can evolve twice. So they can have 60 damage, which means it only has 110 hit points, but it may be one-shotting other cards, so yeah! And if you may send a wounded one back, even more damage. So that's how I think Revenge Cannon Agri may work. Very silly uh, deck build, but eh, that's, <laughs> if, you, if I really wanted to use that attack, yeah, it's a final attack that they do special. Very expensive. For 120 damage, this is just a two shot. Tapu Coco has a better attack than this. We don't have him up, but he does more damage for three energies, basically. So you're probably gonna be drawn to using this uh, Revenge Cannon as the main deal. All right, gotta see that how that works. All right, we're gonna move on to the next card. B Drill, B Drill from SM4. Take a look at this guy. That's low. Agron Stage Dude has 50 more hit points. Yikes, but your attacks are pretty cheap. What does Sudden Stab do? 10 damage. And you evolve from a Kakuna during that turn, you get to Poison and Paralysis, which you can't move, can't retreat. Yeah! Poison, Poison kind of does 3 damage. 
over the over end of your turn, end of your opponent's turn. If they don't retreat, that's three damage. Otherwise, just ten damage guaranteed. So you're gonna need Choice Man to boost that up to you know, forty immediately. Add in the poison, sixty, seventy. Yeah, it doesn't get too high. So you're gonna need even more help. You're gonna need the help of at least Selviper. Selviper, more poison. It takes more damage when you're using that first attack. So boost two Selvipers. That's Three damage per turn, so that could be 90 damage. Yeah, end of end of your turn, end of your opponent's turn, end of your turn again. So if they don't retreat, which they're paralyzed, yeah, that could be pretty good. And the last attack does 60 with choice band, 90. So that's pretty much a two shot right there. Yeah, on basic Pokemon, you don't need anything else, but it's Slip points are so low, so so low. But you can see the combo with these first two attacks. Choice man, a little bit of help from Selviper. I wonder if this is the right card. Lord Ron, does 20 more damage? You could use this too! Now all of us attack do 20 more damage. With that choice man, you can start two shotting GX Pokemons. Ah, okay, you see it, you see it. Yeah, 90 plus one Laurentis. This, this attack right here is a two shot. But, you know, for some giant plants, this god is gonna be tough. It's so weak. It takes so long to get these guys out, so yeah, it's gonna be challenging. It's gonna be challenging. What else do we have today? We have three more cards from here. Miss Magius, Xerneas, and Octillery. Let's take a look at Miss Magius now. All right, first attack, Chaos Wheel. Very similar sounding to Giratina's Chaos Wheel, right? More expensive, does 100 damage. Cannot play Poke Tools, cannot play Special Energies, cannot play Stadium. So what does uh, Miss Magius do? Cheaper, but less damage, only 30 damage. Same thing, no Poke Tools, no Stadiums, no Special Energies, with a Choice Band, 60 damage. Alright, it's just an okay first move, but you need damage, you need prize guards. It only has 110 hit points, so maybe one shot. Miss Maggie's Black Magic, the more cards in your opponent's hand, the more damage it does. So, we're looking at four cards with a Choice Band is a two shot, that's the goal. Five cards, even better. So that's how Miss Magius works. So you can, you can four cents make it work. Yeah, it's got a two shot and a two energy attack with double colors energy. Nothing too special, doesn't do anything else though. So the one shot doesn't seem possible. Yeah, so it's a low hit point two shot Pokemon on GXs. All right, next is the new Xerneas. Xerneas, you're just never gonna go away, aren't you? You know there's an evil tall this is Xerneas. So what do you do? First attack lead, look for any support you want. Alright, if you got nothing else, yeah, do it. It's kind of like a, it's a good starting Pokemon. And it's 130 hit points, which is great. Even better than this mag is even better than uh, some Beedrill. Yeah, Beedrill's like, man, that thing is a basic, that's cheap. It's like, I'm legendary. Yeah, you are. Final attack, three fairy energies, 130 damage, which is a perfect two shot. It will two shot even a Lola Golem GX, who has the highest, biggest hit points. So it's like, oh my gosh, that could two shot me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so what are you gonna do? We well, you have Fairy Garden, and you also have Wishy Washy. If you're very familiar with that combo, Fairy Garden gives you free retreat. Wishy Washy retreats with its ability, so it doesn't count as your one retreat per turn. You see the combo? We're taking a look at this here. This Pokemon can't use this attack next turn. Retreating resets it. That's part of the rule. So you can spam this over and over, worth one prize card only, and you're going for two shots, that's what you're going for. But this energy, uh, you know, it's reasonable, still expensive. One way you can get it up is Wishful Baton. When one Xerneas go down, keep all the energies, pass all three basic energies onto the next Xerneas. And the other way you can do it, Florgas, you saw this with our Dragon uh, Zygarde deck. Calming Aroma, this is Pokemon tax for well, every Florgas is one energy, fairy energy less. So for one of them, you can attack with two energies. Two of them, one energy! Three of them, free! And then you just use the wishy-washy fairy garden combo and attack. Yeah, just... Yeah, if you can get that all to work, it's a good deck. It would fight on par with a lot of GX decks. Yeah, because you'd be outlasting them. What else? Finally, Octillery! Octillery wants to fight. Man, the head eggs has, is a little big. What does it do? Alright, first attack. It's, it sort of blinds your opponent. Yeah, yeah, so they might miss. If you got nothing else, good, good. Ink spit. Little coin, if 
if tails, that their power attack does nothing. All right. So next up we have it's not as good as ones that you know protect itself, but that's okay. It's first attack. Final one. This is interesting. Just like Xerneas, it does 40 base damage, but does 80 more if you discard a special energy. Currently, you can use things like Rainbow Energy, Flash Energy, perhaps even the new Counter Energy. It's, yeah, so as long as you can pay up those special energy cards, then it will work. It will, uh, with a Choice Band, you could do, um, you probably wouldn't be using Choice Bands. With Choice Band, it'd be doing uh, almost 150 damage. I don't think you can boost it much further than that. You'd probably just be going for two shots. However, its hit points are so low. You'd probably be using muscle building dumbbells. 140 hit points instead, just trying to go for two shots with this. Not as interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so. Might work. Don't like it. I don't like it already. So, finally, we're gonna look at one more Pokemon, the Reggie Rock. Alright, so Regirock's the last card today, 130 hit points equals Xerneas, that's a legendary non-basic. It's not Zygarde. Zygarde's special, he really broke the barrier there. Full, what's the new ability? Rocky Mount Howl. Does 10 more damage? Your Registeels do 10 more damage. What does Registeel do? The new Registeel max damage is 90. Alright, but you don't actually need the Reggie, uh, you know, Reggie Rock to do that. You could just use, where's Delmise? Delmise here! Steel Worker! You steal Pokemon, do 10 damage! Don't even need Reggie Steel at all, uh, Reggie Rock at all. But however, for Reggie, uh, where's Reggie Steel? You do get the, to heal 34 damage if you use this attack. So you give this a choice, man. That's 120. Have a full bench of Reggie Rocks. 160 is still not enough for one shot. You're just trying to, you're just trying to two shot with this thing. All right, so yeah. It also, well, I I just fight with the Reggie Rock. Look at that, same energy cost, better base damage. With a strong energy, I mean, it may not heal itself, but it's, you know, it's tough already. It's low enough to get one shot at already, and it's not gonna. It's, Get better to the two shot anyway, so the healing, just fight with this card! Yeah! You would have Fighting Fury about 170 hit points. And it's pretty much a GX Pokemon with a Fighting Fury belt. A two shot is a two shot. Other Pokemons would probably try to two shot this. And they would two shot, and you're gonna win in the end because it's not a GX, so just fight with this! It's just got a lot of nice stats to it. You don't really care about it as an ability or not, so. That is all we have for today. We talked about the, you know, the Lola Golem GXs and pretty much every other non-GX card that I skipped throughout the week. Yeah, so, yeah, getting all big and bulk, so the video is uh, longer, more, con more content for you to listen to. So, review how the new GX cards. I think these are only two GX cards today. They have big numbers. They have very, very big numbers. Very big hit points. Big numbers in attack, but very expensive to use. And I'm not a fan of expensive energy cards. And I've showed you ways how you can, uh, you know, deal with that. Push with Baton here. Electrode here. So, well, we'll just see. Well, I just have to see. You'll see deck videos for these when they come out later this year. So, that is really it for today. Thank you very much, Intercourse and Frenchels. Oh, the video is still here. Oh, you're still here. Thanks. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.